Welcome back. You're watching the news here on CNN News 18. Our next story takes us to Canada, where a statue of Mahatma Gandhi in a temple located in Richmond Hill was vandalized with graffiti. Uh, now, part of what you can actually see on your screens is that graffiti. It, it reads Khalistan. Police are investigating it as a hate crime as we speak. The High Commission in Ottawa and the Consulate General in Toronto have tweeted out to condemn the incident. They're also in touch with authorities on the entire matter. Now, my colleague Abhishek is actually with us right now to bring us more details on this entire story. He's been bringing us updates on this story through the day today. Uh, Abhishek, if you could just give our audiences more of an idea of where Richmond Hill is. I believe it's in the Toronto area, the greater Toronto area, which uh, would mean, and just for our audiences, Toronto is the city with the largest Indian population in Canada. Uh, so a hub over there of Desi populations. Abhishek, bring us more about this development, please. Uh, so, uh, um, sir, see, this is the latest incidence where uh, the Indian community has uh, registered their outrage and protest. Uh, we know that in just uh, like few weeks uh, earlier, there was this uh, uh, protest uh, which was uh, done after, in the aftermath of a poster where uh, Goddess Kali was seen smoking. That was also happening in this uh, this area only. Uh, so a huge number of Indians reside there. However, the latest incident that we are reporting uh, is of vandalizing the statue of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, the, uh, the, th this is an area where... Uh, uh, Vishnu Temple is the name of the place. It is a, it's a, this is sort of a peace park where the statue has been there for almost three decades and no such hate, no such bias or no such ag aggression against the statue has been expressed earlier. In fact, uh, the, the chairman of the, of the Vishnu Temple has said that this is the first time that he has witnessed such vandalization of uh, Mahatma Gandhi's statue. Uh, this is something in, uh, is, is a directly uh, targeted or directly uh, aimed at uh, uh, you know, causing anger and uh, pain among the Indian community. That is for sure, uh, because Mahatma Gandhi is symbolically uh, also a, a part of India that, that is globally revered, globally re well respected. And uh, we have seen in the footages that the graffiti that has been painted uh, on the statue uh, or the videos also that has surfaced have mostly tried to claim uh, uh, identity or alignment from the Khalistani side. Uh, there is a huge presence of people who believe in the ideology of Khalistan in Canada. That is That has been reported in earlier uh, news uh, pieces also. Uh, so this is also one of the crimes that comes from that group. Uh, they have claimed that they wanted to uh, do this and they have been uh, able to do this uh, crime. The, currently, the authorities in Canada, the local police administration, they are, they are investigation, investigating this uh, incident. And they have said that this, uh, this looks like a, a hate crime. Uh, 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 an issue of biases and they are trying to investigate uh, this incident in that direction only. Uh, the culprits, they have not been uh, nabbed yet. Nobody has uh, claimed that who uh, were behind this incident and what were the motive behind the incident. All we know is that Khalistani uh, posters or Khalistani graffiti were painted uh, on the on the spot. The Toronto and Ottawa, uh, our mission in Toronto and Ottawa, they have expressed their uh, pain and uh, they have registered their protests also and they are in touch with the authorities and Canada uh, to probe the incident and uh, probably find the culprit also uh, who have been behind this incident. All right, Abhishek, thank you for that perspective. Stay with us though. We have to come back to you for the next story also. All right, our next story, uh, we're learning, and this is a development from Jammu and Kashmir. The Tibetan spiritual leader, Dalai Lama, is on his way to Ladakh. It's his first trip outside of his base in Dharamshala since the start of the pandemic. He'll then visit Jammu and Kashmir. It also comes ahead of the 16th India-China Corps Commander Level Talks that are scheduled to take place this weekend. Now, there's also, remember, the backdrop of the military standoff between India and China in Ladakh along the line of control. Uh, we're going to bring you more about these developments. We're going to go back to my colleague, Abhishek. Abhishek, if you could tell us more about uh, His Holiness's entire um, travel plan for the next two days. Question one and question two, how is this visit likely to go down with Beijing? Okay, so uh, the Dalai Lama has been uh, not traveling in the, in the, the pandemic time for almost like two years. This is going to be his first major visit outside Dharamshala, which is his permanent abode. Uh, he has been living there for like almost 70 years, uh, ever since he arrived in India in 1959 with his followers, a group of followers. 
so this visit especially uh, in, in in the area of ladakh where china and india are uh, not in a very comfortable situation uh, because of the border row issue in the aftermath of galwan clash that happened in 2020 uh, june 2020 uh, we know that china is uh, we can actually assume that china would be reacting uh, on the visit of dalai lama in fact uh, on 6th of july when dalai lama was celebrating his 87th birthday prime minister modi had called him and wished him uh, for his uh, uh, life uh, and on his birthday but the chinese side has reacted sharply on this visit and they have said that india should refrain from uh, involving in any anti china activity because uh, china uh, considers dalai lama uh, a person who is uh, anti who is involved with anti china activity and that uh, that deep sense of insecurity against a simple normal spiritual leader comes from a long history that china has with tibet uh, in fact china had invaded tibet in 1959 and uh, somehow the dalai lama who was the spiritual leader of tibet and he was in lhasa managed to uh, give a slip to the chinese military and escape through those a uh, mountains and hills and arrived on indian borders where india gave him refuge and uh, ever since a uh, thousands of tibetans have been living in dharamshala and himachal pradesh and uh, also at various uh, uh, places in india uh, so with this visit china uh, may register its, its protest uh, but india has always maintained that dalai lama has been uh, a guest of indian government in fact the vehicle that he he has been traveling today if you could see uh, the name plate that is uh, that that is uh, Uh, it, it is written that uh, Dalai Lama was traveling on a government of India's vehicle. Uh, so he is being a uh, government of India's guest, uh, and he has been living in that capacity. And uh, Indian uh, external affairs ministry has also reacted in the past that China should always uh, uh, consider India's this point of view uh, and uh, react uh, accordingly, and not uh, not as per the perceived biases that it has against India and Dalai Lama from its own. a past or historical misdeeds that it did uh, in uh, in in tibet uh, so uh, we can see that uh, uh, we can uh, dalai lama will be visiting uh, jammu uh, tomorrow today uh, he is going to be in ladakh uh, the his holiness uh, office or bureau office in delhi have they have told us that uh, no public engagements have been announced of dalai lama as of now and most likely he is going to be uh, away from the uh, side of public and uh, probably no uh, a uh, major event is planned uh, as of now all right abhishek thank you so much for bringing us those details for our audiences we have one last story here for you on the show today that is probably one you're particularly aware of right